What is going on guys? Politics Gaming here and today we are returning back to the People's Republic of China. Uh, so today I actually did a couple of little bit of testing. Uh, wow, we automatically right now have 13 people just jumping into the live stream. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So glad to see you guys here. Uh, but anyway, we actually, uh, since I had a little bit of uh, testing, I actually was able to find out how to get the party to like me. Uh, just enough to actually get them to like you know not hate me and depose of me so what we're gonna actually do we're gonna actually raise the tax on large fortunes to 10% it's a form of wealth redistribution only a few countries in the world apply it at the moment so we're actually gonna put this at seven and a half percent the party will actually really 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 like that uh, so what we're going to do um let's get taiwan this time possibly 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 still going to be working on building up my military so what we really need to do uh we probably need to buy a little bit more equipment probably at least 300 more fighters um off of ourselves or others um how many how long would it take for us to get 300 fighters so 300 fighters we could replace you know 300 fighters in about by by 2022 uh what if we did 100 926 what if we do 50 at a time 313 313 so that's 50 so that's going to be 50 we're going to do this a couple of times 100 150 always hate finding it a second time 150 200 oh yikes not the United States 250 and 300 fighters right there so that is actually one of the best ways to actually do it um it's actually wow 123 billion dollars in debt from that so what is an option in terms of the strategy against taiwan taiwan if we okay are they a part of the united nations actually let's look United Nations organization. <laughs> yeah, so uh, so fun historical fact. Uh, Taiwan is not a part of the United Nations, mostly because back in the 70s, back whenever the United States and China actually started opening diplomatic relations with each other, um, whenever the United States and uh, China, the People's Republic of China actually started opening up diplomatic relations, um, this actually caused the strategy toward Taiwan from the United States to actually change. So the United States actually had to allow the People's Republic of China to become the main China that the United States would support in terms of the one China policy. So the one China policy basically means that there are two Chinas and then there should be only one China. Both of these Chinas actually do uh, support that theory and so in terms of military strength the people's republic of china is definitely going to be the most superior one economically and militarily but taiwan actually does still have its independence guaranteed by the united states mostly because of the the historical uh stuff that the united states and taiwan have actually shared the united states has actually supported the republic of china uh, militarily during all three of the taiwan strait crises that has actually happened uh the most recent one was actually back in the 90s though all right so um in terms of this so what we could actually do is that we can concentrate because because we what we actually have is that we actually have several level four um missile launchers so what we need to look for right here let's go over here rank four 180 total so we can actually start moving some of this military equipment across the nation right now so what we need to do is come over here 180 
Okay, so they all need to come over to a closer military region. So we're going to go ahead and active zone defense. We're going to go ahead and allocate all of these to that military base right there. Should not take that long, but it's probably a military mobilization that would not be in terms of how everything else would be. So, okay, so what we need to do, we actually need to accept all of these since we actually wanted all of those jets. Let's go ahead and just come over here. Now been signed, signed, and signed. Thinking about buying the game. Thoughts? Uh, it's 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 a good game. Um, if if United Workers Party. Ooh, let's go ahead and do it. Um, this is actually going to be our intervention into the Australian elections, so that's going to be fun. Uh, but if you actually do want to buy the game, I would definitely recommend buying it instead of you know, um, instead of you know pirating it. But if you want to know when to buy it, I would definitely suggest waiting right now because they are about to release a brand new version of it called the 2020 edition, and that one should probably come out by at least August. I don't know. I haven't. I've been trying to contact them several times. And they haven't been saying anything to me. So unfortunately, I do not have any word on when that will be. But again, to save your money, I definitely would recommend uh, just waiting. Just waiting a little bit. Alright, inauguration of University Campus. Let's go ahead and do that. That's actually... Uh, mostly from let's go over here to education it's actually from whenever we built the two like the max amount of universities that we could actually build and we costed ourselves a lot from that so hopefully we don't get that um, and have you created a national security law I actually am not able to make come on man come on 12% growth, that's awesome. Let's go over and check the party, the Communist Party, see if they actually like me a little bit more. Um, unfortunately, la God, really? Really? You know what, I mean, should I just drop this? Because I actually literally just bought uh, War of Rights, so if you guys want to see some Civil War gameplay, um, I'm definitely down for that. I'll probably try to get my friend uh, Republican Gamer actually on to see if he would be interested in that. But if you guys are interested in seeing War of Rights, please let me know. Um, even though I've been only live streaming on here for 8 minutes. Let's go ahead and increase my military strength a little bit by about 10,000 troops. We're going to try to aim for about 2.1 million active duty troops. Liberties, militarism, national defense, Chinese democratic movement, de terrorists have actually done a kidnapping. Founding values. Let's go over there. Let's go ahead and increase it by another 10,000. It's uh, about 20,000 troops finally added to the ranks in the Chinese military in search of funding. See, I don't know where to get that funding from since we have no elections, but because we have no elections at all, so what the heck am I going to do? Are you going to get the 2020 edition, 2019 edition? Oh, you guys are talking to each other. I'm stupid. Journalists kidnapped by Chinese in China by Chinese democratic terrorists. Man, can I just, like, repatriate, like, my own people? If we yield today, the, this will open the door to other things. Oh, come on, I don't care. Services, telecom operators, TV channels. What, what happens if we actually do that? Five billion dollars, and that's not that much. Um, the United States... Yeah, see, that's what also I'm worried about, is that if I actually do... Um, if I actually do start doing something against Taiwan, then the United States would get involved, except the only closest bases that they actually have that we would immediately need to engage is the one in South Korea, which that one is just around here. There's a American military, yeah, Camp Humphreys right here. So that's the one military base in South Korea, then they have several military bases 
in over here so there's one in yokosuka that's a naval base right there then there's an air force base on naha which is actually okinawa on the ryuku islands and that one it's actually a military base and then it's a, a air force base so that's interesting so but we would actually have the range to actually strike those areas if they actually got involved in any case let's actually come over here let's get grab start grabbing a couple of our military units and start reallocating them into more appropriate bases commandos 1000 1000 commandos let's go ahead and send him over there let's go ahead and start moving a couple military regiments out of these areas we're going to start moving all these commandos to this naval base right here we're also going to start moving people out try to do cyber attacks to deliver de 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 i cannot say that um i smell world war three do i smell world war three too yes i do all right let's go ahead and start destabilizing Let's go ahead and start destabilizing, destabilizing Australia. It's going to be one thing. So we're going to try to make this quick, actually. So one of the best things to actually do is get your get your nuclear submarines and move them into the closest possible area that you can actually get to. We have fifty six thousand commandos, by the way. Um, that's literally enough to literally take out a small country which is literally our goal actually um can we allocate let's allocate these guys literally all fifty-six thousand. <laughs> oh man oh look at our ships moving through south korean waters that's interesting this is literally enough commandos that, again take out a small nation like we're gonna flood these people into uh taipei so you know what i think we actually are militarily able to actually take them on so since we're gonna go ahead and get all this done uh 2.6 million active duty troops right now um should we do a peacetime mobilization and then strike or should we just go with it with our professional army let's go ahead and put this at 2.1 million active duty troops and let's call for another batch of commandos and then let's just buy another wow that's a lot of that's a lot of money 385,000 missiles for ourselves Yeah, see, this game should be cheaper, but uh, I'm not going to argue with it. Um, it's, I mean, I I just like it. National defense. So let's see what the party thinks of this. Um, do do you like me a little bit more? That's it went up by one point. Okay, yeah, that's true. That's cool. Get moving. The old lady tells us. So if we get thrown out whenever we go to war, uh, I'm definitely gonna stop this live stream and then just go play some War of Rights because I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna argue with people with the communists. You know, communism is kind of gay. All right, looks like we're gonna be going out, going at it with our professional army, and should we just strike for no reason? All right, let's go ahead and call. <laughs> let's go ahead and. <laughs> Let's go ahead and cause the uh, the the fourth Taiwan Strait crisis. Let's go ahead and do that right now. I am going to go ahead and launch. Let's go ahead and just launch one missile. And should we hit their economy? Should we hit their military bases? Hmm. Okay, let's strategize a little bit right here. Yeah, let's go. Let's go ahead and just start. Uh, 
let's go ahead and do this. Where is that military base right here? Okay, 89, wow, 89,000, 92,000 total troops on this area. Um, let's go ahead and start bombarding their naval base right here. Let's go ahead and do it. All right, looks like it just fires from that base right there. So we have missiles on the way. Let's go ahead and get a couple more. Let's go ahead and send in some drones, actually. Hit this military base. We got a couple more. Hit this area. We're basically going to grab all of these fighters and then we're just going to tell them to bombard literally their entire military installations. Start hitting their navy. Start grabbing them from the inland. Hit this northern military base north of Taipei. Taipei. And then hit this one right here. We got a couple more uh, just where Shanghai is. Hit that one. All right, and then just automatically we're just gonna send, we're gonna send in all of our commandos right here on to, should we just do the state square? Yeah, um, Hmm. Let's do the state. Yes, I already want to. I'm. I've literally commanded like a entire like bombardment of the entire island. Let's watch the bombardment while we wait for our troops to actually hit the area. Fifty six thousand commandos are now on their way. We also have a massive military attack against the island of Taiwan. Um. Happiness increases in China right as we go to war. So we have everyone really, really nice, dandy, and happy. Got some of the missiles heading in right now. And we have first contact right here as the Makung military base. Breakdown of diplomatic relations with the island of Taiwan. Third or fourth Taiwan Strait Crisis is now a go. Let's go ahead and have this guy... Okay, we have the entire destruction of that base right there. Let's go ahead and uh, get this boat right here to start bombarding their military uh, bases right here. Uh, actually, 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 let's go ahead and get this one. Start bombarding that ship right there. Have a drone attack that crap. Then we're also just going to watch the Taiwan Strait just to make sure that they're not going to do it. Rip, <laughs> rip ROC 1949 to 2019. Attack infrastructure is what I am being told. Yeah, but see, like, if there were highways, I would I would attack them. But high-speed railway, like, is that's more civilian than anything. So I that's why I was kind of like, just, I'm not, I don't want to touch that because... Because uh, that's probably going to be an issue whenever I actually occupy. Because if if I cause too much damage, then there, I mean, what am I gonna, what am I going to be able to take? There's not going to be much, that much to take. Let's go ahead and bombard that area right here, and then start grabbing a couple of more of these things and start actually attacking their military units. Hit that. Got one troop right there. Let's go ahead and just concentrate on their uh, ships. Right there. And then hit that guy right there. Oh yeah, so one thing, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and do this, cybersecurity. Um, military cyber attack, let's hit them with a the military cyber attack. Let's see what that is. We got uh, just over the amount of defense actually, and then Let's go ahead and launch a regular cyber attack at the same time. Duly noted, copy that. Got a little bit of a scramble of their military units right now. Don't tell me that like our entire 
regiment just got destroyed. Please don't tell me that. Got 200 killed so far, and then we've killed 7,200 of their own troops. Um, propose a peace treaty, surrender to a country, give the order to withdraw your units, ask for help in fighting a nation. Where are our choppers? Okay, so that's one right there. So we have literal, literal direct combat right now. And our own troops are actually being attacked. Okay, there we go. So then attack that one. So while on the way, our, ac our actual troops are in danger right now. Hang on, let's go ahead... Fighters 107. Okay, we got we got a considerable amount of troops heading in. The war! Taiwan has just declared war on us. Female breach of treaties with Taiwan. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, we gotta just make sure these guys just make it in. As soon as we get hang on, let's Hit these guys right here. They are invading our own area. Killed them all. All right, looks like we are now in Taiwan. That is awesome. So we just, God, yikes. So we're slowly going to try to see how great this is going to take it, uh, be for us. it takes a little bit of time because we can actually get the numbers the numbers are behind us oh see see literally all of these guys right here are just gonna drop Ooh, oh god that is terrifying imagine seeing that in your own city oh my god so we literally just need to group these guys up yeah, we're definitely... <laughs> oh, wow. This is probably the first time PG went to war. Yes, it is. Kinda. Kinda. Wow, look at this. We're probably gonna break this game. We're probably gonna break this entire thing. We got an offensive strategy right here. Yeah, this is my offensive strategy. We got more troops coming in. Oh, this is a uh, this is awful. This is just this is just really really mean. Taiwan is against us. Panic in the nation. All right, it looks like we have... Okay, it looks like that this was a success, so let's go ahead and make it into the presidential bunker. Oh, so the military cyber attack is a, is a success, so that's all we need to do. We just need to pick off their entire military in the city because our men have started to move in. Uh, so the way this actually works is actually it's literally... Yeah, see, it's just us taking out that. And then these guys are stationary. You don't see them moving because these, the military cyber attack was actually, like, success. So, like, it literally is allowing us to just swoop in. They literally cannot do anything right now. So the presidential bunker is still being captured. See, the little president's just hiding in there, even whenever you can just have a nuclear strike. Almost done capturing it. Cyber attack in Taiwan. 
Again, literally just about. Let's go ahead and send these guys into the military HQ. Their forces in the capital have been decimated. Let's see how many we've lost. 13. <laughs> in the Battle of Taiwan, uh, Taipei, 13,000 people have been killed and 3,400 3, of my own people have been killed. I'm, I'm out of a force of like 2.8 million. Two, 2 million, actually. They don't want a Cold War. Yeah, super chill. Um, let's let's continue. All right, looks like the presidential bunker has now been done. Uh, secession of hostilities should happen. Yep. All right, Taipei, sh Chinese Taipei should actually fall within a couple of minutes. And total debilitation of their forces should happen pretty pretty soon. And we just wait. We just w we wait for their military to actually like f off for a little bit. Let's go ahead and send a reinforcement re uh, regiment of about forty thousand troops into Taipei just to make sure that we can actually save the city. America would win easily if they got involved. They can easily kill Chinese economy with a naval blockade. In the name of my government and as chief of all Taiwanese armed forces, I officially inform you of my country's surrender. Our, so our forces will hand over their weapons from now and submit themselves to your army's authority. The Chinese... <laughs> the Republic of China has finally fallen. We have finally taken out the entirety of Taiwan in just a couple of days. That is awesome. That is probably the shortest war we've actually, I, I've ever committed to. And we're definitely going to be annexing Chinese Taipei into the People's Republic of China. China will now be unified. Let's go ahead and skip over a little bit. New Han shot at dawn. The execution of New Han took place sometime before 6 a.m. According to our informants, the head of state was very humble before firing sweat and did not wish to have her have her oh no <laughs> have her eyes covered. That is awful. I'm so sorry. Due to the wishes of Taiwan, China, and Taiwan, blah 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 blah. blah. Let's uh, look. Special edition 2019. End of the China Taiwan conflict. Taiwanese armed forces have surrendered after the announcement of surrender. Things were quickly resolved, and the armistice was signed this morning by the two army chiefs. This historic event took place at the Victor's HQ. This agreement puts an end to the war that lasted nearly 13 days. We 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 beat Taiwan in 13 days. In 13 days, he took down one of the most strongest economies in the world. Big, big, big yikes right there. Death toll against Taiwan. Mr. President, the Ministry of Defense has estimated 5,600 civilian and military casualties during the conflict against Taiwan. This war will have cost the nation $70 million on the whole. Mr. President, I thought it would be useful information to give this before, you already, before the elaboration of the peace treaty. Now, just bomb all their bases and use Air Force and Navy and then take the capital. Uh, it's hard to fight China as the U.S. because China has like a trillion military bases in front of Beijing. <laughs> Um, yeah, I didn't realize wars can be won so easily. So yeah, um, yeah. Uh, hey, what's going on, Cuddly? Welcome to the live stream. The enemy has surrendered. Let's watch the presidential address by the Communist Party of China. All right, so then kidnapping, greater funding, it's probably the education ministry. Colonized country under control, so that would mean the, the conquered nation will remain its own state, but its governing will pass entirely, but its governing will pass entirely to the conquering nation. This colonized country under control, under my own control, I could integrate them. And then that would mean that the country lost, lost becomes an integral part of the country that won. That thus loses all sovereignty and independence. I have a pullback and elections option, which means is basically I like just pull back and 
country that won withdraws all its troops from the country that lost and organizes free elections so they're the so that the losing country retains complete independence and then no seriously yeah i need to look at the i need to look at that so now what i need to figure out colonized under colonized country under control or colonized country the victorious country nominates a commanding officer to lead the vanquished country and the two countries are thenceforth linked each other by military agreements the, the vanquished country conserver conserves its economic independence and the control of its armies but now acts as an ally of the victorious nation so that actually would just mean that they are a puppet of mine or i could just colonize it I could colonize it, make it like a Puerto Rico situation, or I could integrate it. Now, uh, what do you guys think? What should I actually do? PG, how do you get your cyber attack and defense up? Um, no Nightbot. I need to lower the frequency of how many times that thing posts. Jesus Christ. Um, you should try taking Kashmir, possibly. Um, colonized. IRL China would integrate. Yep. All right, let's go ahead and integrate it. And then let's watch. Let's watch the situation in China. Look at that. Territorial waters have been expanded. Oh, man, that is, br that is great, great, great. And we have a little bit of an economic effect because of the integration of that. Uh, spending a little bit more, we actually have the... How much more population did we actually add? 24 million people live on the island of Taiwan. So probably what we're going to be seeing is a little bit of... Probably we're going to be seeing a lot of... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, civil disobedience. Um, but what we could actually see is the development of the island and then just to make it an integral part of Chinese culture. Now that China has unified the islands that have been separated since 1949, uh, something that could actually happen, irrevocable resignation. We literally are losing all of our cabinet members. And looks like the Communist Party actually hates me even more. 15 points is our ranking right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll let my minister do it. Mongolia, you're next. All right. Energy. Let's see what's going on over here. Maybe we actually absorbed. See, one of the issues about doing this is actually why it says ill-advised is mostly because integrating a nation is actually... You're absorbing their GDP. You're absorbing their economic effects. And then basically what happens after you actually integrate them into your country... Uh, one of the issues that you actually run into is the total collapse of the economy that that was happening right here. So they had basically a free economy, and then we swoop in, and then we have all these restrictions on our own economy and then on our, on our own politics. Basically, what you see is a societal and economic collapse of probably something you would never be able to survive in any other game. Uh, dismantle. Am I able to repair these things? 1.6 billion dollars for the cost of that. Look at that. Look, uh, just a little bit of cost right there. Um, can I? Let's go over here. That one looks like looks like it's irreparable. That one's irreparable. Huh? That's funny. You literally, these things are literally irreparable after you actually destroy them. Um, uh, probably good. I guess that we didn't destroy that much. Bro, get Hong Dong, Hong Dong, Hong Kong. Hong Kong's already a part of China. Hong Kong is 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 exactly where it needs to be right now. Resolution at Taiwanese initiative and proceed with Taiwan to authorize military intervention against your country. We're proposing twenty three to ninety seven. That one's definitely not going to pass because we are a part of. New request for resignation. I don't care. I need you. <laughs> oh, man. This is available position. Yes, sir. Please take that position. Rebuild the King Empire and by retaking Mongolia. High-speed railway between Hanoi and Guangzhou. 
Oh yeah, that's actually a really good idea. Let's go over to transportation, construction, authorization, ask Vietnam to see if they want to build a high-speed railway, and definitely, we're definitely going to be put, building a high-speed railway between Guangzhou and Hanoi. We're going to call it the Friendship Line, and we're going to pay for the entire thing. Vietnam agrees to a potential partnership for the construction of a high-speed railway. Let's do this. So we have Nanning. We have Nanning, that's one way. Um, now, yeah, let's definitely do Guangzhou. We're going to pay 100% of the bill. We're going to fully fund it. 24,000 people, 11 months, $18 billion, and $80 billion over the next five years. So let's see if Hanoi can actually accept those terms. Hopefully they actually do. Sometimes I've actually seen people actually like refuse it, even whenever I actually pay for the entire thing. This game's on Steam, right, y'all? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. High Speed Rail. Guangzhou Hanoi project accepted and launching of works. The project was accepted by Vietnam. The, Viet the building site will begin, first of all. This is a great for national tourism, which will benefit fully from this new infrastructure regarding relations with our partners. This ex the exceptional quality of the railway network that we are proposing will significantly contribute to bringing peoples and our cultures closer together. Lastly, the cities chosen for the train stations are excellent choices and will contribute to their region's development. So now what I want to make sure, so we actually do have a direct connection partly from Beijing and Tianjin. So we can, so basically, usually what I like to look at is, and, and what I like to do is actually create national networks of high-speed rail, basically because there are such long distances that it would probably be better and cheaper and faster to actually build high-speed railways between the cities. So what actually you could literally do is that you could take from the northernmost point of China, well, you could actually go from here all the way, you could take a road, take it, take that, then you go all the way to Harbin. You get on a train from Harbin, you go down to Changchun, then you go all the way to Fuxin, then you go all the way to Kin Hongdao, I guess. Kin Hongdao is that, that I'm, I'm trying to pronounce these correctly. Then you go all the way over to Beijing, and then from Beijing, you go all the way to Shizhou, something, Zhengzhou, Shizhou, then Wuhan, you, Wuhan is literally in the middle of everything. Then Yeyang, then that then this then you go all the way down here all the way there shogun and then all the way to guangzhou and then you can take guangzhou all the way over to hanoi and then that's a direct connection so that's interesting awesome awesome you should build a highway from china to taiwan and also a high speed rail rail line well the taiwan straight is too long i can't build over that actually so that's impossible um Literally, before we even invaded Taiwan, actually, the area is already very, very well developed, so we barely even have to touch it, honestly, unless there's, again, a literal severe economic collapse of something we've never seen before on the island. Um, energy, we probably also absorb their energy situation, so let's look at coal little bit maybe and we also got their national production yeah i definitely need to reduce the frequency of that night bot right there um but yeah let's go ahead and save this let's go ahead and get that done and so if you guys want since i actually completed what i said i was gonna do and invade taiwan what i could actually do is actually i could show off war of rights to y'all because i have not played war of rights so if you guys are interested in seeing war rights, um, then that's going to be an option. Lunar exploration program, we need more super heavy rockets apparently. And I'll actually be right back.
All right, and I am back, actually. Take a little bit of a break. Our health responds on that. Let's see what our overproduction on this is, actually. 161 terawatts. That is awesome. Um, yeah, insert Jeopardy music. I apologize for that. Um, okay, so what I'm actually going to do, we're actually going to legislate on that. So we're actually going to develop heavily on our oil production. Oil production is going to be extremely important to China because we actually have to import it from everyone. And what's going on election minute? Welcome to the live stream. Actually, I am um, ever, everyone who's actually watching right now, please actually uh, subscribe to election minute. Uh, demand military invention we're gonna be voting against and just because we are a permanent member. Everyone else votes for it, and since we are a permanent member, then that just means that it immediately gets rejected, and that is the ability, the lovely thing about being um, on the Permanent Security Council. Kind of OP, but then at the same time, it allows you just to expand your borders and then just deal with the, uni the useless United Nations. <laughs> Someone drank, drank my chalky milk. Damn. Look at those territorial waters. We just need to expand right here. Just right here. Like, these are all Spratleys. Maybe even take these islands right here. Philippines, you are going to die. You will die. I'm going to send those 56,000 people into Manila just to show you that I'm going to expand my borders. <laughs> Or we could go after Mongolia. I mean, Mongolia doesn't have that much of a formidable military. Look at that. Military might? Zero. What about Philippines? How much you got? Ouch. Honestly, we could probably take them on too. 125,000 active duty troops right now in the Philippines and in Mongolia. 9,000. 9,000. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, let's, uh, let's grab a couple of these guys right here. Rebuild the big city, yes, sir. All right, let's send that all the way up to the north. Maybe we can actually do something against Ula Bamtar. Hostages are good. How do I become a moderator? You don't become... Stop taking... I'm not taking any hostages. This is the same hostage that's been in detention for 48 days and they want money. I'm not going to give them money. Exoskeleton, hell yeah. Irrevocable resignation. <sighs> Whatever. Resolution was rejected, so there will be no military invention, intervention against our armed forces. Cultural prize looks like everyone really liked that. Fall in the line. It's extremely annoyed by your childish whims. Do not forget who made you and why. You know what? Just because you're saying that, I'm going to go ahead and reduce the value added tax by uh, 4%. And then I'm going to put it into a reform. I'm going to make this. I'm going to call it CCP, CCP sucks. I'm going to do a television address with the two. Get rid of that song. God, I hate that song. And carbon tax. I'm going to reduce you to $200. CCP sucks. I'm going to see what the CCP does to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Available position. Good thing I actually saved my game.
Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Publicly congratulate a party. Let's see what this does. Can I, can I just milk that? Just to make my party like me? No, oh my god, I've literally publicly congratulate, publicly congratulate. What about the others? I don't know. With a smaller team, did my in like entire government just like, re like just refuse to show up? Oh wow, wow. Let's go ahead and publicly just criticize them. I, I, I just, I really hate communists. All right, let's see what this next day does. Twenty one. Publicly criticize. Twenty one. Next day. Twenty one. Hmm. It's just a it's just a stalemate with my party. Can I congratulate you again and make you happy? One eight twenty one. There's a sit in. Call for a police intervention. Minister of Culture literally left just because. Harbin to Vladivostok is a potential one. Games like this are great, but it's, we all know po Political Animals is the best political simulator. I've actually never heard of that one before. Make the single party have no power. See? See? Legislation, determine the legality of multi-parties uh where are you where is that option uh, it's going to be head of state nomination of head of states wait wait wait. no this is going to be in parliament determine the powers of parliament consultative no real role role are we going to establish a dictatorship in the people's republic of china ccp sex reform finally passes decrees made relating to this reform are okay Let's see if we can actually establish this dictatorship. Oh, we got national. Woo! National troubles. Three million people are out in protest right now. We are asking some questions within the Communist Brotherhood Party. Why don't you appoint the ministers who are missing? Are there any competent people within the party's ranks? You don't want me to invest anything there. You don't want me to. Put an end to this controversy as quickly as possible. Give the army the order to attack. Let's do it. National holiday. Oh man, this is this is hilarious. Just to clarify, I was being sarcastic. Political animals in the notorious subpar election simulator where you play as a cutesy cartoon animals running for office. Hell yeah! Look at that. Taiwan is finally a part of China. If you don't th if you don't like that, then get out of here. Concern. I'm worried the CEO of appointed ministers is still missing. We cannot roll alone. Some responsibility must be devoted to people of dress. Please find them, Mr. President. I can't. I have built a road railroad from China to Taiwan and a highway. What? Laws of Parliament have passed. So I'm finally a dictatorship. Let's see what the public reaction to this is. We have two ministers missing. Let's 
So let's try something real quick. High speed rail. How in the world do you do this? PG, you probably killed them, I know, right? Can I rename a city? Influenza A. I can't wait for coronavirus to just show up on here. Suicide attack, taking civilians as hostages, assassination of a political party. <laughs> if anything, um, since I've actually been uh, live streaming for an hour and since I've already successfully taken over Taiwan, next time we will actually do uh, probably Mongolia. I think we will actually restore the King Empire uh, whenever we actually take Mongolia. Mongolia is just sitting there all poor, just three million people just living impoverished. So that's going to be fun. So if anything, if you guys want to see me in invade Mongolia, please leave a like on this. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I will probably, if you guys really, really want to see me play War of Rights, I'm actually probably going to try that right after this. But if you guys want to see me live stream it, please let me know. Um, so any, anything, uh, if you guys like this, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching and take care. Qing. Qing Dynasty. That's how you say it. I am sorry. Beijing to Ulaanbaatar. Hi, Ulaanbaatar. Batar. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, Mongolia, you are next. You are going to come under my control in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys whenever we restore the King or Qing Empire.